Hello, this is Alex from SignalsAudio.com, and I'm going to show you how to make drum samples with multiple microphones and import them into Drumagog, Trigger, and Contact. So let's get started. Um, Alright, let's record some drum samples first of all. Alright, um, top microphone, bottom microphone, Room microphone for example purposes. Um, here's the floor tom. Um, we'll do three light hits, three medium hits, and three hard hits. So we'll do the light hits first. If you're doing it for real, you should let it ring out, probably more than that. Uh, medium hits. Okay, and hard hits. Should work. Okay, let's have a listen to those. hard hits. Okay, so I'm gonna do this in Reaper, but I'm sure whatever DAW you're using should be able to do the same thing. Uh, group these all together, and then do this, I guess. Look for the first uh, information you can kind of see. Actually, uh, it helps a lot if you um, I have the uh, size of the waveforms cranked up, um, just the just the size that it draws them, not the actual waveforms themselves. Just uh, make them as big as you possibly can, uh, so that you can see uh, exactly where the hits are starting. And then you want to basically cut them into little pieces like this. Uh, cut each hit out. So these are the light hits here. That's just the third one of them. And then I guess I'll make them all the same length here. Here's the uh, medium hits. And if you're doing this from to like for for real you should make sure you get the whole ring out and everything in there in uh, these chunks that we're making so that's the I guess we'll make these ones a bit longer medium hits and hard hits will be these guys You want to get these fairly accurate, otherwise when you have fast drum rolls, if you have like gaps in the beginning or anything like that, like if it was like that, you would, uh, it would sound off, like you wouldn't have a smooth roll. Uh, be a problem. So take your time doing this stuff. Okay. So here's our samples here. Um, let's move this up here. And then make, um, actually, let's give these a fade out. Half a second. Just so they end up with silence, otherwise, you might get a click when the sample ends. Um, and then select each piece and make a region. Okay, and now go into the region manager, and we're gonna name these. So this will be uh, 
low velocity hit one. And I'm gonna name them like this. There's our three hits at low velocity. Um, medium velocity hit to one. Two and three. Uh, our velocity hit one, two, and three. Um, that's pretty much it for naming uh, them for now. And now we need to export these. So we're going to export uh, the microphones individually. Um, so go to your render menu and go project regions from this thing um look for your the folder that you're working with or whatever and uh, for file name you want to change that to um region so that it will name all the all the uh exported files to the name of the regions and so and the last thing to do is we need to make an individual folder for all of these so this is the top microphone, so we're going to name this one top, and then we export it uh, in mono, because there's no point making a stereo. Oh, apparently I already have some samples there. Same with the bottom. And the room mic. And over. Okay. And now we should be able to go to our folder and uh, listen to the samples here. Bottom. And lastly, our room microphone. And uh, that's it for now. That's all we need for the next part is um, all of these exported samples. I'll provide a link to them on the uh, video so you can just use mine if you don't want to record your own. Okay, that's it for this part. So uh, next we'll export it all to uh, Dramagog.